I think in our study what we tried to do to understand is what two degree and one and a half degree warming really means in terms of local climates. And uh, it doesn't sound like a, a lot of warming, but what we try to find is, is, is whether we find places that today already have the climate that some other places would have is a one and a half or two degree warming. And it turned out to be relatively easy to find for temperature over mid-latitudes over the North America and Europe. But the further we went to the tropics, the harder it got. And as soon as we, we wanted to find places that have the temperature and the precipitation seasonal cycle uh, of, of, of what is expected with a two degree warming, we realized actually there is quite a substantial fraction of the tropical and subtropical areas where you do actually not find any place today that has the climate that those places are expected to see with a two degree and one and a half degree warming. So what this implies is that we uh, uh, expect to see novel climates uh, in terms of a seasonal cycle of temperature and precipitation, which we have not seen uh, uh, anywhere uh, so far. Um, and uh, this fraction of land area that is experiencing novel climate increasing drastically from maybe 15% of the land fraction with one and a half degree uh, warming to more than 20% of the land fraction with two degree warming. And it can go up with, uh, if we don't have any mitigation, it can go up to four degrees where we have more than 40 to uh, more than 40% of land fraction that would experience such novel climates.